Bjorn Ranheim with the Sheldon Online Music Academy here at the Sheldon Concert Hall in St. Louis. What I'd like to talk to you about today is the ability to really articulate with the bow. This tool is something pretty amazing that we can use. We can use it to bounce, we can use it to play very intensely, we can play very legato, we can do many, many things, and we can also use our right hand to do a lot of pizzicato and there is many different variations of that too. So I want to talk to you today about how approaching a work, you have to really be true to what the composer has written in terms of the articulation. That's their only way to show us how they want this piece to be interpreted. So as many of our composers of, of pieces we play are passed along, uh, we need to now be as true to that score as possible while still being music, you know, musicians and artists. So what I'd like to talk about first is how we can really find different gradations between intense heavy playing and very light and airy playing. Um, this uh, is perfectly exemplified by the first couple of phrases of Foray's elegy for cello and piano. It's also cello and orchestra. And so the orchestra starts with some big chords and we have the ability to come off as soloists and really establish a sense of sound, but then to come away completely from that in the second phrase. So the difference from the beginning of that to the end is so stark. One is so intense and passionate and connected. The other one comes away and really lets the listener in and draws the listener in. So this is one aspect of our playing that we can really accentuate and find ways to do that kind of uh, phrasing um, and articulation to bring in the listener. Um, other ways that we can do that is to be as true as possible to the articulations written in the score bouncing bow, you know, spiccato, um, legato passages, really finding ways to use this as a tool um, to bring as much life and, and vibrance to the music as possible. Now another way we can do that is by pizzicato. Um, there are different ways to approach pizzicato, both single notes and chords, and I like to find the differences and possibilities within these conventions. So if we're just pizzicating, I, pizzicati, I don't know if that's actually a word, but it is now. Um, lots of times we're taught to use our pointer finger on our right hand. This creates a nice kind of slightly accented sound that really helps to kind of draw uh, a nice legato line. Now another way we can do this if we're looking for rounded more uh, subtle pizzas is using our thumb. Our thumb has a lot more padding on it, not quite as bony, and if you use kind of the side of it with all of this flesh, you can really... You can get a much more mellow and kind of beautiful legato sound, I think, um, by approaching it that way. Um, one other thing is how do we approach chords when we're pitzing? Composers will often write uh, guidelines for us. But if they put a big squiggle up the chord, that means it's rolled, like that. If they put a bracket, that means that they want it probably played all together. And so we can use all four fingers, if it's a four note chord, to play it like that. And so in 
our approach to music, we may see many chords or pizzicato uh, articulations that aren't um, very clear. And so in that, I think we can really use um, all of these tools together to find a really wonderful way to interpret pizzicato and make it as musical um, as when we use the bow. So, hope that helps. Thank you.